floor goes back to Mrs Mogherini. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, you mentioned the fact that we are running uh, quite late, so I will uh, be very short in my replies also because I noticed that uh, only 13 of you stayed in the room after having posed very important, vital issues and also questioning the coherence or the dedication or the good faith or the goodwill of the work we do because we are, not only because we are paid for that, but because we believe in what we are doing. Well, posing these issues and then leaving the room immediately, uh, let me tell you, it's not uh, the greatest example of coherence. But let me also thank you for staying um, till the end of this debate, that indeed, to me and to the 13 of you that stays, probably uh, is a really important one. Uh, because here we're talking about uh, common work that we're doing uh, in a very difficult environment. And I would like here to thank personally uh, our special representative, Stavros Ambrinides, for a work that is doing uh, with a dedication and with uh, an effectiveness that given the situation around the world and inside the European Union is really amazing. And uh, this is a teamwork that can only work if uh, each of us manages to do its bit of, uh, of job. Where the key word for me is what many of you mentioned, which is the policy coherence, which is the coherence of our different approaches. From my side, the effort I've put, uh, me and, and all those that are working with me uh, on this, the effort we've done is to uh, try to put together our internal policies and our external policies and in the external policies, especially our trade, our development, our humanitarian, our migration and our human rights policies um, in line with our principles and our values in the most effective way. Sometimes we've failed, sometimes we have had results, some of them uh, were in this room uh, today. Uh, sometimes you need to be uh, quiet a little bit until the results come. And this is why indeed we have tried in this report, more than last year report, to include some of the recommendations that uh, uh, Mr. Preda was uh, mentioning, that of having a more analytical report, that of having uh, also a critical report on what works and what doesn't work. Personally, I would say, uh, We've tried our best. We would continue to uh, push in that direction to have a more analytical and substantial uh, report, uh, paying attention to the fact that uh, not all details, especially on the critical parts, uh, could be mentioned in a document that is uh, a public one for the sake of the continuation of the work we are we're doing, because we're talking about people's lives. Uh, so there is a certain degree of uh, uh, cautious uh, approach that we need to take, especially when analyzing our instruments, especially when they fail, I have to say. Uh, also when they succeed, probably, we have to be a little bit careful. But um, we will continue uh, to uh, work in that direction, and I hope that next report will manage to be even more analytical uh, and, uh, uh, and focused than the one we produced today. And I would like also to thank you for um, the um, work done uh, and the indications uh, of your report that were somehow um, taken in, uh, in uh, ours. Thank you.